Our patient is a 60-year-old smoker with a history of aortic stenosis who presented to our institution with Rutherford 2A left lower extremity ischemia. His past medical history was significant for a pulmonary embolism. However, he was non-compliant with his Coumadin. He also was morbidly obese with a BMI of 41. His past surgical history consisted of an open aortic endarterectomy with patch angioplasty, which was performed at an Alistad hospital, and the details of that operation were not available to us. He also had a history of a remote appendectomy. Here we see the CTA that was obtained upon presentation to our institution. As we approach the inferior aorta, we see disease, which progressively worsens to a near occlusion just prior to the aortic bifurcation. The remainder of the CTA is largely unremarkable, with the exception of the left popliteal occlusion. We like to treat the patient with a covered endovascular reconstruction of the aortic bifurcation, or CRAB technique. We began with standard bilateral groin cutdowns and circumferentially controlling the common femoral artery and its bifurcation. The common femoral arteries were then accessed percutaneously, and six French sheaths were placed on either sides. The wires from both sides traveled easily into the inferior aorta, and over the wire fogarties were then placed. The Fogarty balloons were then brought down simultaneously from the inferior aorta to the respective bilateral distal external iliac arteries. We did perform a left lower extremity thrombectomy after the CRAB, however, this will not be highlighted in the presentation. As an example, here we demonstrate the process of extracting the thrombus. Initially, the sheath is retracted, followed by the Fogarty balloon while it's inflated. The proximal clamp is then released, and with gentle traction on the Fogarty balloon, the thrombectomy can be efficiently performed. As mentioned, this was performed as an example due to obstructions in the field of view with the initial passes. The Fogarty balloon is then deflated and the six French sheath is delivered back to the common femoral artery over the Fogarty balloon. We then upsized our sheaths to eight French on both sides, and this is the initial angiogram that we obtained, demonstrating an effective percutaneous thrombectomy. 11 by 79 VBX was then deployed with the contralateral wire retracted, ensuring that there was adequate space above the aortic bifurcation and the distal portion of the stent. Then we proceeded to post dilate only the proximal aspect of the 11 millimeter stent. With the right-sided wire returned back through the stent, an angiogram is obtained to help plan for the kissing balloon portion of the procedure. We then delivered two 8 by 39 millimeter VBX, ensuring that there was enough overlap within the 11 millimeter stent. And here we have our completion angiogram demonstrating an effective result. Thank you for watching this covered endovascular reconstruction of aortic bifurcation performed at the Houston Methodist Hospital.